Hello Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be a cautionary video about buying property here in Thailand. Now we've done a couple of videos with regard to buying off plan and condos and houses and the, the pitfalls with regard to doing such things but this video is going to be a different one because it's about buying a condo on a lease. Now as I said you don't own the bricks and the mortar if you buy a condo on a lease. Now I'm not going to mention the location of these properties where many people have bought the condos on a lease basis but it's a tropical island and many people thought it was a dream come true being able to lease a condo on this beautiful tropical island but for many it's turned into a nightmare and it's a nightmare that's going to continue for years ahead now let me explain the reasons as to why and how this is happening the people who bought these condos, about a million and a half to two million baht each for studios, one bedroom and two bedroom apartments, bought them on a lease basis with regard to every three years the lease gets renewed. So they actually never own the bricks and the mortar. It's a lease basis. And quite a few have been sold on this basis. But now because of the situation of what's happening everywhere in the world, um, the condos were subject to a maintenance clause where everybody has to pay the equivalent of 3,000 baht per month for a maintenance. Now these particular condos haven't been rented out for at least a year and a half, possibly two years now, so that people who own these condos have never received an income for at least two years. And looking into the future, you can probably say the rest of this year it's not going to happen either. So, so on average, this will be two and a half years for no income whatsoever. So where things have gone wrong now, because they're not getting any income from these condos, they're not making any money. And the lease agreement states that you will pay the maintenance every month. So imagine 3,000 baht a month. For 12 months, 36,000 baht a year, for two years, people have paid and received not a penny in income whatsoever. So now some of these people have refused to pay the maintenance on these condos. So what's happening, the condo leasee, who owns the, all the leases in the condo units, have written to these people and said, if you fail to pay the maintenance fees then you no longer have the right to have the lease to these buildings so the threat was if you stop paying the maintenance the lease was revoked and apparently in the contract that everybody signed they signed this lease agreement to say that they will pay the maintenance and if they stop paying the maintenance they forego their right to the ownership of the lease now here we are two years on and many people have lost their condos so now it's all in the courts and it's all up in the air about what's going on and what isn't going on it's a nightmare for all of those people that bought these condos on a three-year renewable lease <clears throat> on a tropical island and they thought it was their dream come true but now it's turned into a nightmare now I know a few owners that have invested in more than one condo in this resort so therefore they're liable to pay the 3,000 baht a month maintenance fees and they've stopped paying the maintenance fees because they've got no income no likelihood of any income coming in for the foreseeable future and then there's the cost to get the resort back up and running again and I'm sure all of the owners will be given a bill for being able to reopen the resort again it's just a nightmare so like at the beginning of my video, buying a condo on a lease basis, is it heaven or is it hell? And I'm sure with all of the lots of people who've bought it on a lease basis, it's become a nightmare and a hell situation. Now what's going to happen to these units, I have no idea whatsoever. It's all, all in the courts at the minute and it's just a legal nightmare for all of those people that have this. So to lose a million or a million and a half, it's not cheap especially those people who bought more than one unit. So for those people who are going to come to Thailand and think you're going to get a bargain because of all the reduced property prices, take heed, be wary, get a lawyer to look over the paperwork. 
make sure you're cast iron and nothing can go wrong. All the people that have lost thousands and thousands and some people even millions of baht in property deals that have gone wrong here in Thailand. Be wary, be careful, due diligence on everything. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.